Hi there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine for AutoCAD. Thank you so much for joining me. Yay, I'm so excited because spring is here. Oh, it's been just a little bit too chilly for me. So today our AutoCAD tip has to do with draw order or display order, which some of you are maybe are more familiar with. So there are a variety of commands that have been added into AutoCAD over the past few releases that make it so much easier for us to control which objects are on top of the draw order or the display order. And I wanna make sure that you're fully aware of them to make your life a lot easier, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go up here to the home tab on the ribbon underneath modify, and there's this super top secret lower right hand corner <laughs> listing of all different ways to display to control the display order, right? Bring to front, send to back, select certain objects you want on top of other objects. But these are the ones down here that I wanna focus primarily on. For example, in most cases, we want our text in our drawings always to be on the top, right? So nice, easy option, bring text to front, executes the text to front command, makes sense, right? And if I zoom in, sure enough though, there's some hidden text underneath there that now is kindly displaying for me. So that's just the basic text to front command. Now, if I come up here and I take a look, you'll see that there are other options too, like bring dimensions to front, bring leaders to front. That's a new one that came out in the last release of AutoCAD. Bring all the annotations to front, which is just like every darn thing in the whole entire world. And one that I'll talk to you in a bit called send hatches to back. Let's say bring all annotations to the front. Oh, look, there's dimensions, you know, basically anything that was an annotation of any type that was hiding in the back is now on top of the draw order, right? So that's really easy, super easy to work with. In some cases, you know, you may not even know it was there. <laughs> so it's not like you can go and select it and bring it to the front because you maybe you didn't even know it was there, it was hiding behind there. So that's text to front primarily. So let's take a look at this hatch to back deal. So if you take a look at the screen, you can see that I have quite a few hatch patterns that are on top. And you know that we really don't want hatch patterns to be on top, we want them to be in the back. A great command that was added, that was added in a few releases ago called hatch to back. Text to front, hatch to back. Okay, so I'm gonna say send hatches to back. Watch the screen when I do that. And you'll see, look at that, all those groovy hatch patterns are now hanging out in the back the way they should be so that I have the proper display order, right? So text to front, hatch to back. Try them both. And I am gonna see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you so much for joining me.